Entertainment news, Chase Creed has signed a $20 million endorsement deal with Diamachi Fragrance to be the face of their new men's line. That should certainly help pay for the three-carat engagement ring we've seen Madison Blake flashing, shouldn't it? Now, wedding plans are still top secret, but don't Would expect you mind to that stay off? that way for long. to your production company. Please give me a call back. I've already sent you a few emails on this and we are past the point where this has to be done. Thanks very much. Luke, Sydney here. What's this I'm hearing about the money not dropping yet? Am I directing this or what? Give me a call, let me know what's going on. So we haven't really heard anything back from Chase's camp. And it's starting to get me a little worried, Luke. I mean, uh studios are uh, starting to call me, wondering why I get signed, so, yeah, I think, um, Who is this? It's Laura. Remember me? Oh, yeah. How can I forget? So, I was supposed to drive Gabby to college tomorrow, but I kind of broke my ankle last night, and I need you to take her. What? What didn't you understand? You can't drive. No, I'm in the hospital. What happened? Steve and I were taking on the Christmas lights. In August? I know what month it is. I was up on the ladder because Steve He's 95. Been... He's 57. Why do you have to be such a jerk all the time? Sorry, go on. I fell over backward and my ankle got caught. It's broken and dislocated. I'm gonna be in here for a while. Well, what about Steve? What about Steve? Well, can't he take her? He's in Chicago for a conference. You know she's your responsibility too, right? I can't get away right now, okay? I've got a lot going on. You come and go whenever you want. It's 8.45 and you're probably still in bed. 
No, I'm finishing breakfast. Cereal? Yeah. Clank your bowl with the spoon. Why? Humor me. Twelve years apart and you still feel the need to lie to me. What's your point? My point is there is no one else. Fine. I'll take her. I gotta juggle some stuff around, but I can take her. You should probably get there on Monday, and you don't fly back until Wednesday. Wait, wait, wait. I thought we're leaving tomorrow. You are. Charleston's 2,700 miles away. You do the math. South Carolina? Yeah, South Carolina. I thought she's going to school in San Diego or something. So did she. A year ago. I just, I can't get away for six days right now. If one of the girls from your casting couch even suggested going away to, oh, I don't know, say Barbados for the weekend, you'd go in a heartbeat. Why do you have to go there? Because Every time I have to talk to you, it all comes flooding back. How are we gonna do this? Can you be at my house by eight? Oh, you mean my log cabin? That's the one? Sure. I have an ex-wife and a daughter. Want to go on a road trip? You mad? I'm not mad. Do you want to talk about this? I have work to do. And now it looks like I'll have to help Ron to clear your schedule. We can get away next weekend. Is that why you think I'm mad? So you are mad? No, I'm not. Look, I can't believe you're this upset over the fact that I have an ex-wife and a daughter. No, no, just nine months of dating and this is the first I've heard about them. So you are mad? Our production. I was able to clear everything from your schedule except the thing that you have on Tuesday. Hi, this is Andrew Kinsler. It is such an honor to meet you, Mr. Dow. I'm a huge fan of your work. Thank you. He's the actor that I was telling you about. He works with my brother-in-law. You said you'd take a look at his reel. Can you excuse us a minute? Yeah, thanks. Here, take this. Any word from Chase Creed? No, nothing. I haven't heard from his agent, his attorney, manager, no one. If you ask me, they're holding out for more money. And Sydney's been calling me. Yeah, me too. She doesn't sound happy. No, she doesn't. You have that lunch on Monday with the studio. What would you like for me to tell them? I just tell them I'm on location. Let's push it out to Wednesday if we can. And what about him? I'll just put this in your briefcase. All right, thanks. Hey. Can we talk about this over dinner? Give me a chance to explain myself before I head out of town. No more lies? Well, technically, I didn't lie. All right, no more secrets. Promise me. Promise to pick you up at 7. Okay, okay, okay. I promise, no more lies. Fine. Let's eat at your place. I don't feel like going out. Cool. I'll pick up Chinese. Is this really a good time to be going away? I don't have a choice. What are you going there for? About six days. No, I mean... <laughs> now I'm taking Gabby to college. College already? Wow. So what do you want me to do about Chase Creek then? 
You think he's jumping ship? Was he on the ship? Well, I kind of told Sydney he was. You did not. It's a figure of speech. Not to lawyers and judges. And didn't Sydney only agree to direct if Chase was attached? And if he doesn't sign? Hey, it's Luke Dower, Dower Productions. Just call him again. Um, hey, I just need to know that Chase Creed's on board. Uh, I know you got some paperwork of ours and life gets busy, contracts are boring, you know, I get that, but we gotta sign them. And if you could send them back to me, I'd really appreciate it. And I won't have to deal with this long line outside of my office right in the kill for this role. So, um, Luke Dower, Dower Productions, just give me a call back and I won't have to give this away. Why aren't you out saying goodbye to your friends? My time with my mom just got cut short by a week. I was really looking forward to our time together. Just the two of us. I remember when my parents drove me to college. They had cars back then? Mm. <laughs> Could kick you with that. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss you. Mom, it'll be okay. We can talk anytime. We've got unlimited talk and data. I mean, it'll be like I never left. I feel like we're in the middle of a cell phone commercial. <laughs> I talked to your dad today. There's a sentence I don't hear every day. He agreed to drive you to college. Mom, no. I can drive myself. You are not driving across the country by yourself. I'll fly. You need your car at school. We already talked about this. What about Michaela or Lacey? And have two parents worried sick? No. It'll be a good opportunity for you to get to know each other. He's had plenty of opportunities. We have nothing in common. You have me? Yeah, I'm sure he'd love to talk about you. I know I said a lot of bad things about him. There are a lot of good things too. Should I have them adjust your meds? You don't sound like yourself. Yeah. <laughs> You're really making me do this. There's really no reason why. I just didn't bring it up. I mean, they live up in Big Bear in their world. I live down here in mine. How often do you see her? That's complicated. We've been up that way three times. Don't you think she'd like to see her dad every once in a while? No. I don't. Her mom's filled her head with poisonous things about me. The worst, none of the good stuff. That's your job. Not just to tell her, but to show her. Well, that's a little late for that. Because she's 18, you've got another, what, 40, 50 years in you? Are you okay just flushing that away because you're afraid to talk to her? Well, she doesn't call me either. Chase Creed doesn't want to talk to you, but you still call him. This is a lot harder than you think. I mean, even when we do talk, we don't talk. I've seen you sign, like, a $10 million movie star to a $2 million movie. And yet now you're afraid to talk to your own daughter. I wouldn't know where to begin. You have to come with. You have to do this yourself. She hates me. She doesn't hate you. She just doesn't know you.
Hey. Hey. How are you? Fine. Good. You've lost weight? Well, I'm trying to lose 10 pounds. I only have 13 more to go. So, not going well. We should get going. It's gonna be a long day. Week. Can I set this there? I don't sure. know where else to put it. No, that'll work. I'm gonna try to crash. Okay. I'll try not to. instead of 45. Throw the rest of the money at him. All right, let me know what you can come up with. Where are we? Arizona. You hungry? I could eat. All right. Are you excited to go to college? Yeah. I've never heard of Providence Coastal University. It's a small Christian college. Yeah, but why all the way out in South Carolina? It has a really good counseling program. Like for addicts? No. Marriage counseling? Marriage counseling. When does all Christian thing start? After you left us? Well, technically your mom left me. Why was that? Died. I'm going to take a shower. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Good. Really good. Hang in there. She's barely said two words to me. Well, don't give up. You'll never have a better opportunity to get to know her than right now. Well, I follow that. But you kind of have to say more than two words to get to know somebody. So. Well, it's a start. Try again before she goes to bed. I will. She's coming. I got to go. Hey. Are you nervous about going to school? Not really. Good. Night.
Hi. We gonna talk today? About? You, me, life, us? I'd talk politics if I had to. We don't have to make small talk. The trip might go faster if we just don't talk at all. So if we don't talk, the trip will be more pleasant. All right. Look, I don't know what's gonna make this pleasant for you. We could play the alphabet game. Um, count license plates. I'm not 12. Well, at least we'd be talking. Why start now? Gabby, I'm trying here. Would you be trying if mom hadn't forced us into a car together? No, no you wouldn't, because you just don't care. Mom and I always used to take pictures of you when you were little. We were broke, so we had to wait to get the film developed. But that was fun, you know, because you never knew what you were going to get. That was our Christmas present to each other. Do you remember this? More. <laughs> All that sign language your mom taught you? No. All right. Potty. That was a popular one. Uh -uh. Oh, come on. Eat, drink, milk. Your mom would always follow you around saying, milk, you know, trying to encourage you to do it. And all you'd say is, love you. <laughs> and she'd say, eat, you know, whatever. And you just walk around just flashing the I love you sign. Love, 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 that's what you'd say. You did that all the time. You have to remember this. I don't, okay? Do you still go to church? The one with the red pews? You remember that? Yeah, I do. It's a long time ago. Does Brianna go? I have no idea. Why? I'm just curious. Why, you hope she'd drag me there kicking and screaming? Yeah, maybe. No church would want me. They all do. They should. Churches are like health clubs. You don't have to get into shape before you go.
California. Oh, we playing this? All right. See my briefcase is a pad. Grab it. Let's make a list. Some kid dropped it off in my office before we left. Wow. Be easy, Tiger. Put it away. Get the pad. <laughs> you say you're gonna make it happen someday. So let me ask a question this way Will someday ever come? You said that you would put it all behind you And yet you always let your mind rewind to The way things used to be Look up, it's a brand new day It's a brand new day Okay I'm Grace Beth Alright Hi Hi I'm Kirsten Here's some menus Thanks Can I start you off with something to drink? Soda water Okay, for the young lady. She's gonna have, uh... I can come back. Thanks. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Luke, it's Sydney. I'm calling about Chase Creed. You need to call me back. This isn't funny anymore. I need to know now. You okay? Yeah. Yep. Waitress stopped by. I was wondering if you want anything to drink, but uh, I dare not order. I want to get anything you're allergic to. I like lemonade, chocolate milk, and butterscotch malts. And I can't stand coffee. Good to know. But I love coffee ice cream. Like the mocha shakes at Dairy Barn? I gained 10 pounds when I started working there. <laughs> You worked there? For two years. It was just part time over the summer. Hey, Kirsten. Yes, sir. How about two butterscotch malts? Sure thing. So, uh, what happened with going to school on the West Coast? You mean closer to home? Yeah. I changed my mind. Your boyfriend going to this school? Just, uh, Jeff. Jeff's a scumbag. He went to visit his... It's okay. It's okay, go ahead. He went to visit his brother at college and there was this party. And at the party, there was a girl. I wouldn't take him back no matter how many times he said he was sorry. I mean, we're gonna be at colleges across the country from each other and I'm supposed to trust him after that. We never did anything. Just so you know. Go ahead. I don't mind. Look, he has everything he needs to sign right now. Okay, that's all we're waiting on. It's just a formality, really. I thought you said he was in. Did I? I can show you the emails. Look, I turned down a really big project to do this. Make it happen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When have I not delivered? Look, you gotta trust me on this. Okay, if Tuesday rolls around and he's not signed, expect me off the project by Wednesday.
You like him? Chase Creed? Yeah. Who doesn't? Well, guess who's producing this next film? You? We're in negotiations. Cool. We'll take those two. Thanks for that. Yeah, well, I don't even need them. <laughs> Let's get them out of the windshield. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh it up. Payback's coming. How'd you two meet? We work together. Dating employees. Not good. I know. <laughs> Some just clicked, though. You know? I don't know. Made sense. We have a lot in common. Even the same birthday. Seriously? Different years. Well, yeah. So, uh... You didn't tell me too much about your major. Something to do with counseling. Yeah, I I want to work at a Christian counseling center. Like at a church? Some of them are. Well, the big money's in private practice. I'm not sure there is big money in the kind of work I want to do. I want to help people put God at the center of everything. Like with marriage. You know, a lot of counselors, they view marriage as a contract between two people, but really it's a covenant with God. Contracts are based on mutual distrust, but a covenant is based on a mutual commitment. I did a report. All right. What if divorce is the best option? For who? Everyone involved. The kids? Case in point, you turned out fine. Not without help. You saw a counselor? No. I turned to God and he helped me through it all. Through what? A lot of things that messed me up. Growing up without a dad. Years of you and mom fighting, like after the divorce. I mean, constantly. Seriously, quit fighting. It's a lot for a little girl to deal with. Kids aren't as resilient as you think. Anyway. My friend Michaela invited me to the youth group at her church, and I loved it. Pretty soon I gave my life to God and realized that he's actually there and able to help you through all kinds of things you never thought you'd be able to get through. It's the kind of work I want to do. We saw a counselor. One that focused on God? You really think if somebody prayed over us that would have saved our marriage? If it was you and Mom. That's part of it. Turning over control of your life. If you're trying to get us back together, it's a little late. Get you and Mom back together, or... You and God.
every time I smile, I let go of a little more pain. And every time I laugh, I get rid of a little more shame. These days I figured out that I'm the one to turn this thing around. Which one did you say is cute? Payback. Every time I dream, oh, I dream about feeling like this. And nothing weighs on me, no matter how heavy it is. Do we have Minnesota yet? We do now. So how did we end up in Big Bear? Your mom didn't want you to grow up in LA. Just wanted to be someplace where you don't have to worry about locking your doors at night. We lock our doors. <laughs> Not 12 years ago. Came up with a compromise. Remember it was I'd work in LA in the week and then come up on weekends and visit you guys. Distance was tough though. She started to not trust me. I was working with an actress who came on to me. And I told mom about it. But, uh, man, she got jealous. I mean, over the top. She wanted me to quit. You gotta understand. I mean, this is all I've ever been good at. It's what I know. And I turned this actress down. But mom just kept treating me like I hadn't. Two weeks later, she came in for a callback. Okay. Another rest. You know, I, I should have tried harder with your mom. Just try telling that to a younger, more stubborn version of me. I can't stand any of her movies. You and everyone else. So what did you like best about mom? How good she was with you. That was fast. When I worked in LA, she'd be with you all week long and you think after that week, she would just say, take her, you know, but she never did that. I used to stand in the doorway and listen to her read you stories. I used to love putting my ear in her chest and just listen to her voice. It was so comforting. I can't explain it, I don't. No, you just did. I should have read to you more. Mom always told me that you couldn't read. Can I help you? We need a room. We only have one left. Perfect. We'll take it. 
That's uh, 104.94. The sign said $39. That's from $39. All we have left is the honeymoon suite. You have a honeymoon suite? We do. And it's 104.94. Do you want it? How many beds does it have? It's the honeymoon suite. Do you have rollaway beds? Yes, we have four. Perfect. I'll take one. Ooh, they're all out. All right. How far till the next town? Oklahoma City is just 38 miles. You see, I just drove through Oklahoma City to get here, so. It's the closest one. OK, all right. Uh, I tell you what, I, uh. Did you like all right, we'll take it. We'll take the room. Would you like me to send up a bottle of champagne? That's my daughter. Yeah. She's 18. Are you upset? I just realized you don't know anything about me. When's my birthday? What? You told that guy I was 18. I'm 17. But, like, you'll be 18 in September, uh... Who was my first boyfriend? Tim. No. Mark. I was the leading scorer on my soccer team from sixth grade through my junior year, and you didn't see one goal. And one goal would make you the leading scorer. This isn't a joke. Have I ever had surgery? No. My tonsils. It's not a major surgery, though. It is major when you're 10 years old and scared to death and your dad doesn't come to the hospital. I was in Canada. I was in the hospital. I was in four high school plays. You work with actors. You'd think you'd want to see your own daughter act. You know, your mom would just rub in my face how I'd ruin your lives every time I came around, so... Do you see what you're doing? You're deflecting, okay? You're, you're deflecting the blame to mom. Do you have any idea what it's like? To wonder if you ever think about me or if you love me at all. I gotta get out of here. I think about you all the time. I think about what you're like. I think about what kind of dad I would have been. You are a dad. It's not like I live on the other side of the world. I'm on the other side of the mountains. I know. I wish things were different. You don't wish things different. You make things different. If there was one day I could take back. Why would you let that one day ruin so many of mine? I don't know, sweetheart. You divorced mom. Not me. Why did this have to happen now? What's wrong? This whole get to know your daughter road trip. Well, I really didn't need this right now. The nerve of him trying to connect with his own daughter. You're not helping. Just hang in there. Two more days. Yeah. Two more days. <gasps> Mom, you know my birthday. Don't you? 
How can I forget? You put me through 19, 19 hours, hours of excruciating labor. <laughs> I thought I'd forgiven him. But I keep being all ugly to him. I have trouble with that myself sometimes. We should both forgive him. Once and for all. September 3rd. Nailed it. Good night, Dad. Good night. Coming? I'm not dressed for it. It's come as you are. Most churches don't care anymore. They just want you there. Yeah, you know, it's really just not my thing. Okay. Because you fight to take our shame away. Our life you made, our debt you paid. Jesus, hear us, let your kingdom reign. Yeah, our song, our cry, goes out to all the ones who may not know your life. Sanctify us so that they may see your eyes when they look into mine. Just be near, we need more of your kingdom here. So I took my family out to Mount Rushmore a couple of weeks ago. And as I'm standing there looking at this amazing monument, I couldn't help but wonder, you know, what kind of vision it took to create it. Anyone looking at this landscape a couple hundred years ago would have just seen rocks and cliffs with all of their rough surfaces, jagged edges, you know, their shapeless forms but a master looked at it and saw what would be his masterpiece. Ephesians 2 verse 10 says, we are God's handiwork, his masterpiece. You know, someone seeing any of us right now might see our rough surfaces and our jagged edges, but God, the master, he's smoothing, he's shaping, chipping away at us to bring his masterpiece to life. You aren't complete yet, but know that you have a purpose. Listen for his instruction. And as long as you're in his hands and you let him work, you're on your way to becoming something beautiful. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You wanna to go to that dairy barn we saw a little while back? Oh, no, it's in the wrong direction. It's not that far. Uh, yeah, we wasted enough time this morning. We gotta do 700 miles today, we better get going. I'm gonna see if I can make it up. Try to keep it under the speed limit. Will do, officer. Welcome to Arkansas. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Why would they say that? You want me to have a good day? Don't write me a ticket. Yeah, well, now we really have a lot of time to make up. So. Oh, I suppose you think that this is God just getting back at me because I didn't go to church. No, it doesn't say anything about that. It just says 62 in a 55. Hour Productions, this is Rhonda. Hey, it's me. Hey, how's your trip going? We're in Arkansas. You're getting there. Hey, we're from Creed's camp. 
No, everyone says that he's filming on location somewhere and they can't reach him. Any idea where? Hang on. He's shooting a new flame outside of Mount Pleasant, Tennessee. Just a minute. How do you know that? And he's been posting from there. We found him. Well, go get him. So we are here, and Mount Pleasant is here. That's really far out of the way. Yeah, and who knows if you even get to see him. How's it going? Hey, you on location? In Tennessee. You want to do me a favor? Leave me a couple passes of security for me. I'm going to be passing through. Cool. All right, see you soon. That was easy. Oh. <laughs> it's about who you know. Do you mind if we, uh... Let's go. How do you know her? We used to work together. So did you date her too? Wow. All right. Trudy. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Good. Good to see you. Me too. Oh, you look great. Well, you look better. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is this your new assistant? No, no, this is Gabby. This is my daughter. Gabby, this is Trudy. Oh, hi. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Look at you. You're gorgeous. You're beautiful. <laughs> Do you act? <laughs> no, she doesn't. You never told me you had a daughter. Well, it never came up. You're here to lock down Chase? <laughs> is that obvious? <laughs> well, she should be in makeup right now. Good. This is so cool. Do you think we'll bump into Chase Creed? Oh. Oh, no. Are you okay? Yeah. Jennifer, let him know I'm gonna be just a little late. On it. Hi. I'm Gabby. I'm Chase. Chase, I have someone I'd like to introduce you to. Luke Dower, we've met before. Luke's a producer for Lightning Strikes Twice. Oh yeah, Lightning Strikes Twice. I read that script, that's a good one. Thanks, man. We're pretty excited about it. Yeah. So you met my daughter? Gabby, yeah, we've, we've met. Let's get a bandage on that. Thanks. Lightning Strikes, wait, Lightning Strikes Twice? Can we talk? I'd love to. So you're a Sydney, right? That's right, she's our director. Okay, so why does Sydney assume that I'm already attached? Talks were going well. You know, and I'd assumed and we started talking about what the project was gonna entail. And okay, you know, think... look, <laughs> I would love to help you out here, but I can't. You know, you gotta talk to my agent or my manager. Your agent's had my contract for three weeks. <laughs> That's what you have to go through. Look, I've left a dozen messages. The truth is, you wanna be done with this kind of stuff, the romantic comedies. You wanna establish yourself as an artist? You gotta do this. Our director got Dalton a nomination for your secret heart. Dalton. There, that should do it. Thanks. Here are the revised pages for tomorrow's shoot. Thank you. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, <laughs> that's nothing. <laughs> Now, did you guys really come all the way down here just to run me down? No. I'm on my way to college. And this is on the way? To South Carolina, it is. What are you going there for? Probably four years. No. <laughs> I mean, like, what are you going there for? I know. I was just kidding. <laughs> Behavioral sciences. 
It's basically counseling. But I want to mostly work with families. Doing what? Marriage counseling. Are your parents divorced? Yeah. Same here. My dad ran out when I was eight. Five. You know, they said they weren't happy in their marriage, but you know what? Neither of them are happy now. Chase, wardrobe needs you. Five minutes. It was nice to meet you. You too. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing later? Oh, no, it's not like that. I just don't like eating alone. Madison's cool with it. Your fiance is fine with you eating dinner with other women? Yes. If I, I'll call her if you don't believe me. I forgot her birthday. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Oh, I almost killed her <laughs> by giving her peanuts. You know, didn't know she was allergic to that. So, other than that, <laughs> smooth. It's nice you got this time together. Yeah. It's like God threw you two in a car and said, work this thing out. Well, he did have to break my ex-wife's leg to make this thing happen, so. He works in mysterious ways. <laughs> Come in. How cool is this? I got to meet Chase Creed, and I talked to Madison Blake on the phone. He's taking me to dinner. What? Uh, <laughs> they're engaged. It's not like that. He just doesn't like to eat alone. Oh, I haven't used that line before. <sighs> okay, well, we're not gonna get our 700 miles in today. What's well, one extra day? Order something expensive. Tell me it's not the honeymoon suite. I hope not. Why do we need all this? I have no idea where my blue dress is. What do you think? Wow. <laughs> you look beautiful, hon. Good evening. I'm here to pick up Ms. Dower. He couldn't even come up himself. He probably just doesn't want to get swarmed by fans. I'll see you in a few hours. Okay, but straight back here. Okay. Well, Mr. Creed, good evening. Good evening. Your table is just about ready. If you just want to give me one second, I can uh, clean this up here. No way. You're Chase Creed. I have seen all of your movies. I loved you in Into the Dawn. Do you think I could get an autograph? Yeah, sure. Awesome. <laughs> Can you make that out to Jessica? Yeah. Great. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're incredible. The table is ready, so if you will just follow me. Good evening. My name is Mark. I'll be taking care of you tonight. Can I start you off with something to drink? We have an excellent wine selection. Do you have lemonade? Uh, I think we do, yeah. That's perfect. Great. And for you, sir? All the same. Excellent. I'll be right back with those. 
Did you see that? Did I see what? That girl over there just took your picture. I hardly notice it anymore. Doesn't it get annoying? Oh, yeah. But it's better than not getting noticed at all, right? You know what I can't stand, though? Is this. Can you believe this? Giving me her phone number. I'm engaged. Maybe she didn't know. Oh, everybody knows. Isn't that Chase Cooper? Who's that with him? Do you think people might think that this is a date? That's why I brought this. See, I take this out, and I open it up, and I lean in like we're talking about it. And I ask you what you think, and you tell me. Oh, I think it's a brilliant script. I wouldn't change a thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. You gotta be kidding me. What? My friend Lacey just saw that girl's picture. How does that happen? <laughs> Welcome to my world. I don't know what kind of magic you're working out there, but Chase's agent just calls, and suddenly he wants to see the script again. And he asked for another version of the contract. The only question that remains is, do you want me to send the old one or the revised one with the new numbers? Luke? Uh-huh. Which contract do you want me to send him? How long does it take to eat? So my brother owns this grocery store back home. My sister just went off to medical school. And, well, what about you? Any brothers or sisters? No. What about your dad? What was it like to grow up with this big Hollywood producer? You know, just ordinary life. Come on. Had to have been fun. Didn't he bring you on set all the time? I would have loved that. <laughs> um, who's, the, who's the biggest celebrity that you've ever met before? I'd have to say... You. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> yes. This is so cool. I just wanted to see your face. It's getting pretty late. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. I just... Wow. You have really beautiful eyes. What are you doing? I saw the way you looked at me tonight. When? At dinner. You couldn't take your eyes off me. You were across the table from me. Stop it. Stop. You need to stay there.
What are you doing? We wanted to go to my hotel. I'm getting out here. Listen to me. Do you have any idea how many women would want to be where you are right now? I know one who doesn't. In here! I don't want to talk about it. Chase? What happened tonight? Nothing. What happened? This happened. Look what your crazy daughter did. I can't, I can't go to set like this. What'd she do? She kicked me in the face. Who does that? But I'm telling you, nothing happened. So she did this for no reason at all? <laughs> what did she say happened? Well, I want to hear it from you. All right. Maybe I misread a few of her signals. You made my daughter cry. Okay. okay, look, let's just forget about all this and talk about lightning strikes twice, yeah? Okay, you're off the project. What? You can't fire me. I haven't even signed yet. We'll see what your director has to say about that. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're playing hard to get. Just like your daughter. Well, she'll be back. For a little thrill of the chase. It's being called the punch heard round the world, a video showing movie producer Luke Dower leveling heartthrob Chase Creed has taken the internet by storm. A former assistant for Creed admitted this morning to leaking the video. Now, according to her, Creed has a long history of trying to take advantage of female fans, and she's seen enough. Un video mostrando el productor Luke Dower noqueando al galán Chase Creed se ha apoderado de la red. Den Film Produzenten Luke Dower via den beliebten Chase Creed zu Boden bringt. The video Dower appears to be asking Creed about one of these alleged incidences earlier in the evening involving his teenage daughter. Ayant eu au cours de la soirée quand soudainement la situation dégénère. A representative for Creed refused to comment on the altercation or the allegation. Several witnesses are reporting to have seen the actor dining with an unknown woman uh, hours before the incident at a Dad? restaurant in Mount Pleasant, Tennessee, where Creed is filming the romantic comedy A New Flame.
already has 1.2 million views. Great. Multiple women are now coming forward with their own allegations against Chase Creed. So far, six women have issued press releases. Creed's former assistant has alluded that there will be more. Meanwhile, this morning, Diamachi Fragrance dropped its endorsement deal with Creed, citing Maybe a Maybe you should go back to L.A. a day early and work on that. As if that weren't like, I can manage the last thing on my own. Madison Blake was spotted no. out shopping yesterday without her engagement ring. I'll be all right. Thanks for not flying back. I'm glad you're here now. Me too. I just wish I was there for everything else. I mean, birthdays and plays. That soccer goal you talked about. <laughs> Your report cards. They were all A's. Except for a C once in advanced algebra. Nobody uses algebra in the real world anyways. I know, right? So you're good. Okay. No, I understand. There's no need to panic yet. We still have plenty of time. Look, there's a ton of actors that... She hung up. Well? Sydney's still in. The studio wants me out. Can they do that? They do it all the time. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. Maybe you should start praying. I have been. What do you think? It's worth a shot. I need to see his real. He's pretty good. This could work. If it took a thousand miles, I'd walk them to find your smile. If I had a pair of wings, I'd trade them in for good apologies, and I'd make them sing and make them dance like sugar plums. I'm sorry, so sorry, I'm sorry Things I didn't mean that I say
mission other than keep on getting forgiven i remember when i said i will never be cold to you i remember when i said i got sunlight on my bones for you i still do student council president dean's list straight a's oh there is a c on here oh come on it's algebra i mean <laughs> Nobody uses that in the real world, right? But still, a, a very impressive transcript. Thank you, Dr. Lyons. In the referral letter from your pastor, I've never seen such a glowing recommendation. I can certainly see why you got the full scholarship. You must be so proud of her. Yeah, I am. You know, I know that parents have a large part in their children coming here. You know, kids don't just drift into mission trips and Bible studies without a really really strong spiritual upbringing. you excuse me? Absolutely. I'm gonna be outside. Let's go over your schedule. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, you'll be taking class. There is nothing in my life that would have led you here. It's never too late to start over. If it helps, you and me, we're good. What about the last 12 years? Forgiven. One fell swoop. Gone. I don't deserve that. That's how this whole grace thing works. You know, you're about to start a pretty big chapter in your life. Are you excited? Kind of freaking out. I'd say we get in my car and head back home. No. Home's here now. Brown Hall, room 413. You'll be fine. You can call me, call mom whenever you want. I know. Hang on a second. Oh. Sydney. Answer it. Uh-uh. Dad. Nope. Answer it. Hello? The kid nailed it. Where did you find him? I have my daughter to thank for that. You offered him the role? I did. And? What do you think he did? He took it. <laughs> awesome. All right, well, I'll give you a call when I get back. Talk soon. You're a genius. You're a genius. Tell me something I don't know. Which would be difficult because I'm a genius. Well, if you're a genius, then you should come work for me. <laughs> Tempting, but I think someone else has plans for me. What? I've got to get to the airport.
darling, don't be afraid. Everything is gonna be okay. Yeah. Cause even though we're far away, I know we'll feel close somehow. And even though it's long, I know time will fly by. And even though we're far away, I know we'll feel close somehow. And even though it's long, I know. Dad. I'm not really allergic to peanuts. You got me. I got you something at the student bookstore. I know that you're probably not interested now, but you know, maybe someday. Thank you. Hang in there with me, okay? I have a lot to learn. You know, when we left California, I couldn't wait to get you here. Now I don't want you to leave. You can call me anytime. Except about advanced algebra. I can call your mom. I'll call Brianna since she just graduated. Be good. You will. I used to stand in the doorway and listen to her read you stories. I just wish I was there for everything else. Birthdays and plays. That soccer goal you talked about. <laughs> and she'd say, eat, you know, whatever. And you just walk around just flashing the I love you sign. You did that all the time. Then you turned your back, left me all alone. I was just a little girl. September 3rd. I was just a little You look beautiful, hon. Now we're looking at each other, finally face to face again. And with all these miles between us, God still had a plan. Dad! Dad! other again I've forgiven you for everything you did it wasn't easy but God help me find your way did you wonder who your girl grew up to be when I look into the mirror I can see you staring back at me
And with all these miles between us, God still had a plan. God still had a plan. Sometimes you go